Hi guys, just thought I uh, would give a bit of a major update um, as I've been an owner of an RS for since uh, April last year. Um, pretty much going to share all the problems that I've had, what I've experienced, um, how I've been shafted, uh, people that you don't you thought you knew uh, but end up shafting you uh, left, right, and centre. So it all goes back down to buying this car from a friend who's a car salesman uh, that I've known for 20 years. I've even played pool with him. I've gone out, uh, you know, as boys do back in the year, back in the day. Um, he said that he, uh, I, I saw this at his car sales place. So I was quite interested. I wasn't really going to pull the plug on buying something. It was just more looking. But when I saw it, and I spoke to my friend, um, he said that it was pretty much in mint condition. One owner, low mileage. And I thought, you know what, I'm not going to get an opportunity that this close to home. So I pulled the plug. <clears throat> um, now, I'm not really... Knowing too much about the car, I did a car vertical check, everything was fine, the mileage was fine, no crashes, no damages. Uh, one owner, as they said, I thought, okay, so I bought it. Um, I took it to Mount Tune, uh, they had an inspection over it, they found a few bits, like uh, the clutch was slipping, the... Uh, uh, subframe bolt was loose in fact that could just drop out at any point uh, and just a few other minor 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 issues um, so like the tire pressure tire pressure sensor uh, kept on popping up every 10 miles which is really irritating uh, the turbo pipe I call it a turbo pipe I don't know exactly what it what it is uh, they had put like a plastic tie around it to hold it up, which caused a split in the pipe. Um, so that were the, just the first initial problems, not major, uh, things that could be dealt with, uh, pretty much sharpish straight, straight away. So when I took it away from that garage that I bought it from, they said, there's nothing worse than buying a car without it being serviced. So they said that they serviced it. So when I took it to Mount Tune, I actually got them to service it because I didn't trust the garage that I got it from. Because uh, the problems that I was finding, something just didn't add up. Um... So it turns out that they didn't service it. So I'm glad that I got it serviced. The aircon, as like it had never been changed, and it absolutely stunk like hell. Uh, so I had that done. The as for the clutch, the garage said, oh, where I got it from, said that you've had modifications to this. We're not putting in a standard clutch um, however what you could do is buy an upgraded clutch and um, and they'll fit it for free so I was like well why do I why should I buy a new clutch when I've only literally just bought the car itself but then I was thinking well, what's the opportunity is that if I do get an upgraded clutch then there's a lot of labor and a lot of cost involved so i actually bought an upgraded clutch um and then i also i thought well why they're under there why don't i just get a, a flywheel and a cylinder and just get it all done in one go while they're under there and that's kind of what i did <clears throat> um which is what they done which is great so I was kind of thinking labor costs, time, effort, it kind of works out in my favor. 
even though I've just paid for for the uh, clutch flywheel and cylinder so then there was the instrument cluster it was pixelated at the top and one day it just decided to to give me all sorts of errors I was really really confused um, in fact the car was confused that it decided not to work um, and uh, so I took it back they um, I had, had it with them and left it with them for a week because they said that they could repair it and they didn't they said they was waiting for a waiting for the instrument cluster from uh, Germany and I only recently found out that it actually wasn't new from Germany it's actually from a uh, breakers yard um, which I'll explain later uh, the one of the other issues that I had was this is a weird one so I had a knocking noise I could only hear it when the windows were down but it's one of those noises that you could not figure out where it was coming from it only happened on an uneven road so I took it to another garage because I did not trust so I was finding things out and finding more problem after problem after problem and taking it to to that garage that I got it from they were saying one thing doing another uh, they were doing uh, like bodge jobs cutting corners um, they even uh, they even uh, gave me a faulty battery and wanting to charge me for a new one even though they said that they would put a new one on um, so yeah it's the reasons why I didn't go back to them is just because of I just didn't trust them in the end um, so going back to the knocking noise <coughs> I um, I took it to another garage and uh, they had the perfect road for this and uh, so it happened every time that I was I was on an uneven road so after several hours of um, investigating they found the issue and what it was the knocking noise was um, incorrect pads uh, rear pads uh, on the rear um, that caused the calipers to be put on slanted now I don't know if that's true but he showed me the pads they were actually worn at an angle so because of that I've had to pay for new discs and new pads uh, which uh, and labor uh, to find the issue about 700 quid uh, that hurt uh, but I just wasn't prepared to go back to the garage that I got it from uh, because, I, like I said, they were, they were literally anything that they could cheat and cut corner. And this is not the car that I'd want to be uh, bodged. Um, I'm sure like any other RS owner would agree. Um, so I had it done properly. Um, so that was one of the ma not major issues, but it was one of the issues. <clears throat> um, I had a a security system installed um, by uh, won't say the company name. I wish I could. Uh, they sent out uh, one guy last year uh, installed it incorrectly. Uh, this was causing me untold amount of issues um, like electrical faults random faults sometimes the windows wouldn't auto up, go up sometimes that door handle wouldn't uh, recognize that I touched the door handle the um, it was just coming up with all sorts of error messages and even sometimes I get in the even the ignition um, wouldn't actually come on so I would have to this is the kind of process that I would have to have to do is um, unlock the car get in press the ignition um, nothing happened literally completely and utterly dead I would get out lock lock the car 
unlock the car, press the ignition and everything fired up. It was so, so weird. And it turns out that there was a communication issue, um, uh, is issues and causing all types of uh, electronic, electrical issues. Um, but on top of that, it was also draining the battery, um, which we found out a year later. Uh, so having these guys install this uh, security system um, to find out a year later that it was the, it causing the, causing all these um, electrical issues and not knowing that at the time, I was going to garages, I was taking time off, I was um, yeah, I mean you can imagine how much labor it was costing just a search to see these electrical issues which these uh the garages couldn't figure it out either <clears throat> and it was the only off chance that we did some experiments and uh, found what the issue was and it was actually the security system that got installed incorrectly um they actually put it uh connected up to the wrong wire which was actually causing all these issues. So anyway, I called them up again. They sent somebody out. Um, they also installed it exactly the same way. So I had the same issues. Um, now, both of these people that came out from the same company spent a combined seven and a half hours to install this security system. Um, a third guy came out from a different company, which was uh, um, recommended, uninstalled theirs and installed a new one in an hour and a half. And it's been working perfectly. Um, so, so it's not been, uh, not been great. I'm trying to think what other issues I've had. Um, so yeah, so the, um, so after that one day I got out in the car and it was completely flat. The battery was flat and I was thinking, oh God, um, again, that turns out that the previous security system, um, had buggered up the battery so much that the battery was, um, uh, draining itself um so i had to do a third battery in a year and a half so i've had three batteries um pretty much when i had the original one which was faulty i've had an rac one uh which got absolutely unknowingly to me got absolutely battered by um the drain from the security system the um yeah and the third one perfect got no issues um so this is uh i've got another issue with um, running rich so the car's been running rich i got told that was normal uh but apparently not it's not normal i mean i haven't had a high performance car for a, for a very long time and uh, so i naturally thought okay well based on someone's experience that it must be normal um but unfortunately taking it to the garret uh taking it to someone they said god blimey this stinks absolutely reeks of um uh petrol um uh which uh i don't know if any of you guys have actually smelt rich um fumes and, and such uh but it was pretty bad um now i don't know the terminologies or the stats behind it uh, but it wasn't good, uh, so I took it to um, a really good garage, uh, which I will not go anywhere else but there now. Um, they had a, a good look once they were doing a major service on it. Um, they were pretty confident that it was a Lambda sensor, so they changed the Lambda sensor, and uh, lo and behold, unfortunately, it didn't fix it. Um, so I spoke to uh, somebody else 
uh, who doesn't work for a garage, but he knows these inside out. I mean, he's, he's for me, this, this guy, um, I won't say his name, uh, but a guy I know, uh, is just an absolute angel. Um, he's literally found what the problem was, and that was a purge valve. So he changed the purge valve, uh, which fixed the richness, which is great. Um, the uh, so that was a that was something that was running for a year, and I thought it was normal. Uh, but so now I've got more fuel than I than uh, than I'm used to, uh, which is uh, also great. Um, so I'm sure there's more problems though. Oh yeah, so the uh, washer cover. Uh, one day that came off. Um, the uh, I was like, oh god, there was a gap, black gap. Um, and it turns out I think I said this earlier that they, on upon in investigation, uh, one of the garages I went to. Um, actually rather than buying the part they glued it together i mean this was something like 15 pounds something 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 stupid i mean that company or garage that i got it from was not even willing to to pay that to get something right um <clears throat> which uh which isn't good um so all of those issues we're mounting up and it's cost I think uh, all in all I know I haven't probably mentioned all the issues in fact I can't even remember all of them because it's been so long but it's cost me a fair chunk of like five grand in repairs to get this to where I want where I'm happy with um, yeah, so, touch wood, as today, from today, um, actually there was one, I, um, I had a gearbox tower oil leak, which is, which is common, um, so I had that fixed today, uh, so, I think. I think that's all, or majority of the problems. Um, so now let's talk about mods. Mods, yes, mods. So I'm running a 380M. I have a, a 5050 Turbo Smart. I have a full splitter kit. I have a uh, sun strip. I have a uh, stripey. Uh, tiger stripes on the front, uh, sorry, on the side, on both sides. Um, I've got a custom tiger stripes on the rear um, that wasn't included on the tiger stripes that I, I copied. Uh, so that is actually custom, customized. I've got louvers on the back. I've got white RS uh, gels on the uh on the side at the bottom near the near the wheel uh, back rear wheel wheels um so i've got air vents uh from nick wiley uh what else is there i've got mount tune mats mount tune um mud flaps uh an upgraded um exhaust oh god oh yeah the exhaust oh my god the original when i got this car the um exhaust that was on it it was um no matter what gear what speed it was a drone of a noise i really couldn't handle that so i so i had to um so i wanted that changed immediately because it was absolutely horrid so i've had an upgraded uh exhaust um the uh, what else have I got? Just trying to think. I know I'm. I know I'm gonna miss something. Absolutely gonna miss something. 
I think you can see from my other uh, video, I think um, I'll put a link to the uh, uh, video of you can actually see see her in her glory. Um, but I think my next stage of upgrades is an intercooler and pipes. And then I'll start messing about with the uh, uh, engine bay uh, dressing, I think. And I think once I'm done with that, I'll leave her as it is. Um, however, now I've got the car, I've got the RS to where I want it. What a drive. Um, so just having the, um, the change in the, uh, the purge valve. I mean, I didn't use a Ford purge valve, uh, because I've been told that they're pretty shite. Uh, so I had one custom built, uh, for that. Um, and, uh, yeah, I, I mean, my God, such a difference from one year driving it with all these issues to having it fully fixed. My God, it's a completely different different car. The performance is is massively different to what I've been driving, like, over the year I've been driving this. And uh, certainly noticed the difference with... Um, the driving experience, uh, yeah, it's just incredible. <clears throat> so I think um, after that, I think um, I'm not unsure what mods to do next. But I'm definitely going to go for the uh, intercooler. Uh, I want to make it more reliable rather than uh, take it on track uh, because I use it regularly. Um, I want that security of uh, running reliable. Um, so if you guys can think of anything, um, let me know. Let's see what uh, see what comes up. So uh, cheers, guys. Um, sorry if I pretty much rabbit it on. I just wanted to kind of document it uh, in a way. Uh, so yeah, cheers.